Are tungsten rings dangerous? There's only one way to find out. Ah, Corey, got away. Oh, what's up, manly bands? It's your old pal Archie and Dope. Oh, that's that's super spinny today. I just just need a minute. As I said before, it's your old pal Archie with Manly Bands. Welcome back, if you're coming back. Oh, and if you're new, hello! You're my new favorite person, we should hang out. Before you and I hang out later, we're gonna be answering one of the most asked questions in the men's wedding band universe. Are tungsten bands dangerous? Now, before we answer that question, if you're too busy to stay here through the whole thing, or if you left the burgers on the grill and you're at risk of burning them, to be fair, that is a valid concern. In fact, actually, uh, that reminds me, I, I'm, I'm gonna be right back. Well, we just checked the old grill and the burgers are a-okay. But back to my question, are tungsten bands dangerous? The answer is, of course, no. They're just like any other metal. But before we dive into why this is such a concerning situation, you might have heard stories of someone getting their ring stuck on their finger and not being able to cut it off, which absolutely actually has happened. And to be real with you, it's terrifying, but it is 100% preventable. Tungsten is one of the hardest materials on earth, which is why it's so durable and scratch resistant. But because it's so durable and scratch resistant, it is resistant resistant to most metal saws. But like everything that seems invincible, including my own stomach till I try a Carolina Reaper, even tungsten has a weak point. But you know what? I regret nothing. The first thing we can address is the proper way to take your ring off. First, don't panic. <laughs> I hate to say I told you so. No, I don't. I told you so. The best way to remove a ring is by slowly and gently twisting as you pull. Because if you try to force it, the ring is gonna fight back. To make things nice and easy, try a lubricant. I personally prefer using olive oil, lotion, or you can use plain old dish soap. But if that doesn't work, you can try a glass cleaner. That's fine too. Now, if it is beyond twisting off, do not despair. There are a couple of options, but for legal reasons, I gotta say, please do not try this at home. It's dangerous and should only be attempted in case of an emergency, but I'm not at home. If you decide to take things into your own hands, Corey, you get it? Because I was talking about like being handy and just, oh, uh, you went to lunch early. That's cool. Wish you would have told me. Anyways, if you do attempt any of these techniques, please be sure to wear proper safety equipment, especially safety glasses, because tungsten is one of the hardest materials out there, and the amount of pressure it takes to break them can result in what we like to call in the biz, ring shrapnel. But when you do it properly, it will be a simple and painless break, releasing your finger from its death grip. You should also consider getting a plastic bag or clear plastic container to put over your hand to prevent pieces from flying everywhere. The first method is what I like to call the grip of freedom. Freedom, 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 freedom. Uh, you know what? Now that I hear it out loud, it, yeah, you know what? You're right, it, it, it could use some work. What you're gonna wanna do is to grab a pair of curved jaw locking pliers, also known as vice grips. Start by sizing the pliers to fit perfectly and snugly over the ring, then put on those safety glasses I was telling you about, because you're gonna wanna make sure the pliers can be locked down without the ring being able to spin freely. Next, remove the pliers and twist it down two or three turns and carefully place your pliers over the ring and begin to add some pressure. You're gonna hear it crack and then it will break into at least two pieces, allowing you to remove the ring from your hand altogether. If you find this method to be uncomfortable or if you don't have a pair of vice grips handy. I have puns for days. One might call me a putty guy. There is another method and it's one that's a little less delicate. So if you're thinking about trying this, again, for legal reasons, I gotta tell you right here, right now, please do not try this at home. But theoretically speaking, you know, if you have like shaky hands, poor eyesight, and questionable decision making, like me, please, please film it. Corey, I was kidding. This method requires you to lay your hand on a hard surface. Don't attempt this on any glass, because that could break under the impact of the ring. You're gonna wanna take a regular hammer and give it a little tap, tap, tap a -roo. And I would start off by tapping lightly because it can crack or break under under minimal pressure. Slowly work your way up to more force till it breaks. The ring will take most of the force and should crumble around your finger or break cleanly in half. So for those of you who are in the market for a new ring or have your eyes set on a unique tungsten ring like the baller here, then rest assured no matter how swollen your finger gets, tungsten is still a great choice. And if you found this to be at all helpful or you actually enjoyed my razor sharp sarcasm and unconquerable wit, then please do me a favor and hit that like and follow button. And you can also check out some of our popular tungsten rings over here or if you're looking for another type of metal then check out this video right here till next time archie out oh he landed